वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल साइंटिफिक अंडर स्कोर मैथ फाइंडिंग इनवर्स ऑफ आर मैट्रिक्स यूजिंग एल यू डी कम्पोजिशन मैथड इन अर्लियर लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड हाउ टू फाइंड द इनवर्स ऑफ आर मैट्रिक्स यूजिंग एल यू डी कम्पोजिशन मैथड ओके सो आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक इन वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन वॉच इन दिस लेक्चर एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू राइट आर मैट लैब कोड टू फाइंडिंग द इनवर्स यूजिंग द LUD composition method. Okay, so let's start today lecture. And uh, here we have uh, the MATLAB code uh, for the decomposition of uh, the coefficient matrix into the lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix. In earlier lecture, we have uh, already studied how to write a MATLAB code uh, to decompose the coefficient matrix into upper triangular, lower triangular matrix, and upper triangular matrix. Okay. so here we will only update code for finding the inverse of the matrix we know that the decomposition procedure is the same and, uh, and this will be same for also the inverse uh, for finding the inverse of the matrix and after this one uh, we will uh, modify uh, the code to find the inverse of the matrix okay so we know that these steps first we decompose the coefficient matrix and then we have and this equation okay so next we have this uh, two equation to solve and this equation okay so here we can see that here we have a, a identity matrix okay and uh, so in this code first we create the identity matrix of same order uh, of order of the coefficient matrix okay so uh, here we can see that we solve these two equations first we solve the equation number 2 for solving and the column vector y that is any arbitrary vector we have taken over here okay so uh, uh, using the forward substitution and then the and then the solution that is the column vector y is substituted in the equation 1 and then solve for the vector column x using the backward substitution okay so uh, here we have the modified uh, code for the finding the inverse after the decomposition okay first we create the identity matrix of order uh, that we have the coefficient matrix a and uh, here we have used and the i matrix three this will create the identity matrix of order r and r is the number of rows in the matrix a okay so after this one we will use the forward substitution and backward substitution to solve this one and these two and these two equation and here we have the forward substitution and backward substitution matlab function and the forward uh, this uh, forward substitution code and uh, the backward substitution code is available uh, in the video description you can download and these two codes okay and uh, then uh, you can run this uh, code to find the inverse of the matrix because uh, in earlier lecture we have already studied about the forward sub, uh, forward substitution and backward substitution matlab code okay so here we can see that uh, here we have a for loop for j is equal to 1 to c and c is the number of columns in the matrix a okay so here we have the vector column y which is equal to uh, we apply the forward substitution on this one and then we will get the a solution of uh, the vector column y and then uh, we apply the backward substitution uh, on this equation 1 to solve x okay here we apply the backward substitution to solve this equation equation 1 and then we end this for loop with this end and after this one we will get the inverse of the matrix okay so let's uh, run this code on matlab okay so uh, we have a matlab code for finding the inverse of the matrix uh, and uh, here we have a coefficient matrix a and first we decompose this matrix into the lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix then we create a uh, identity matrix of order uh, coefficient matrix a and then we apply the forward and backward substitution to solve the equation 2 and 3 okay so i uh, here you can see that i have already saved the a forward and backward Uh, substitution matlab code and uh, we have also saved uh, the this code on same folder 
where I have saved the backward and forward substitution. Okay, so let's run this code and uh, we can see that uh, uh, this is the coefficient matrix A and first we decompose coefficient matrix into the low triangular matrix and the upper triangular matrix. Then we have the inverse of the matrix A, this one. Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math for more videos related to the mathematics.